Hello YouTube, I uh, hope everyone's well. Well, over the past two weeks, what I've been doing is working on my canopy. For those of you that obviously remember, remember the model helicopter world, you will remember this was the uh, Zealous turbine that was featured on it. Well, I've got another canopy that I've been working on. Uh, I've got to the stage now where it's masking uh, and also where I've done all the prep uh, the sanding in between coats, the filling, getting rid of the hairline cracks in the gel coat and also as I'm known as Captain Hanger Rash uh, a bit where the paint had flaked off on the nose where it had been dropped a few times. So come and have a look, see what stages I'm at uh, and see through the uh, various other stages where I go from rubbing off the clear coat, taking it down to paint, priming sanding priming and then base coat and then 2k lacquer uh, clear coat that's gone on it uh, the end result seems to have come up really nice but watch the video and tell us what you think Okay, the first job was to remove the clear coat. Uh, I used 800 wet and dry grit. I then used Halford's filler putty to get in the hairline cracks. and I then sanded down again, primed and added more of the knife in putty. And on the third coat, there was only minor defects which needed to be filled and sanded. This dry coat black was a real lifesaver as it highlighted any imperfections and high spots. So with all the imperfections done, a coat of primer, high build primer from Halfords and the masking and then the first coat of yellow base went on. Again, rattle can that I got from Halfords. With the third coat now uh, on, it's really starting to take shape and the shine was starting to come through. This again was pre-clear coat. So with the final yellow coat, it was now masking, ready for the black stripes and then the black uh, windows on the nose cone. The result of the windows on the nose cone was great. There was no eggshell cracking, no interaction with the surface below. Uh, all round, it was a great result that I was very happy with. And then following the nose, uh, the black paint being done and the black stripes, I then did three coats of two pack primer, which were cans that I got off of eBay. Really happy with the result. And one week later, I was able to add transfers, clear coat over those. Uh, and as you can see in here, the shine came out really well. Uh, I'm now just waiting uh, for the paint to harden further and then I'll do a sand down and polish ready for the final uh, buffing. So with everything finished, I then went for the first start of the year since the lockdown began.
after a successful check of all the systems obviously didn't want to annoy the neighbours with a jet engine in the background I'm now ready for when our field opens after the lockdown well that's it for this video many thanks for watching please consider subscribing to my channel and also feel free to comment below thanks again